Hello, uh, good afternoon uh, from uh, a cloudy uh, March evening here in uh, Southampton. <sighs> I know I'm going to keep going. I'm going to keep going. I'm so, I, you know, it's a funny thing, isn't it? Uh, it's not a slightly unpipe related matter, but sort of pipe related. Uh, how personally, I don't know whether, it, perhaps it's just me, uh, how personally, uh, you know, the internet, when I say the internet, um, the relationships you you build on, on the internet, which are very different to the sorts of relationships in a way you have uh, in, in the, the world about you that you touch and feel and whatnot, but this world that comes to you through the screen, and, and you make uh, little friendships and have fun and all the rest of it with people, and then when that goes wrong, or, uh, and you know, anybody who's been in the sort of YouTube pipe fraternity for any length of time, I, I can't remember, it's been a long time now, for me, you know, I'm a bit hands off, more hands off these days, you know, but life in the world about me has kind of, uh, you know, taken me, uh, taken me away, uh, to some extent, I, okay, I do watch people's videos, I do make the occasional video, but, you know, people, dis I mean, we've been through this, all of us who've been around for oh, you know, you could recently, you you know, you you get a little group of friends, you know, because I think there's always been there's been the, the bigger thing in with the pipes, uh, and then you get, you know, you'll get pockets of friendship, you know, little not clicks because that's not right uh, to, way to describe it, but you you know you get little um, groups that click more with each other, so they you know develop, and then suddenly one somebody disappears. They're gone, and you've got no way of finding them, no way of tracing them, and it, it's quite hurtful. It, but when I say hurtful, I mean not that they've done you a disservice or an injury or anything like that, but that you, you know, so, you know, it'll be like you know, you go to the pub every week for months and months and months, and there's a fellow who sits over and he comes over and you play uh, cribbage with him, or uh, you know, talk about the, the state of the weather, or or uh, the rugby or whatnot, um, and all of a sudden they're gone. Uh, and equally, so I, uh, today, I, I'm not. I won't, I'm not. I won't. I'll spare you the details of this because you know. Uh, but um, I, I sort of something like that. Uh, I I. I for one reason or another, you know, the cold winds blew through something, and and I'm just gonna have a break from this and uh, whatnot. I go back and um, and you know, find a few, few, you know, things that I, I just well, it's silly, isn't it? It's the internet for Christ's sake. I don't, I've never met this person, persons, and yet I'm fine. My, I just, I, I discovered this a little while back. And I went out for a walk with her. I thought I'm going to take the, I'm going to have to take the dog out for a walk. He's just there. Reg. Reggie. <laughs> he's not here well. He's tired out. Uh, so, so anyway, um, and I, I'm, it, it's hit me quite hard. I'm surprised it has, you know. Uh, but this isn't the first, you know, the first time, and I'm sure there's plenty of good, you know, but I think there's to people, um, I have, you know, I have a very active social life and meet lots of people and all the rest of it, but, you know, I, I regard people who I, you know, met, I don't know, I've met some fantastic people, Dean and others, who become friends of mine, and we meet up and we have a smoke and what have you, and, uh, uh, but I, I'm, I mean, I don't know whether it's me, but I, t I've, yeah, I take it quite personally, not, not in a sort of, oh, how dare you sort of way, but in a, in a, 
in um you know that it actually does actually have an impact and I've always said this about people that write you know trolling I think it's called you know people that go around you know I've had a bit of it not much when I first uh, in the early days of the YouTube thing it, it, you know um, it was quite hurtful uh, the tr you know stupid comments that that is water off a duck's back but um, but you know, I think people sit behind their on their desk or they're sitting on their telephone in some lecture or something, <laughs> and they write these things, not realizing that there is a human being at the other end of that, and casually, uh, and I understand, you know, people have, you know. I don't think it's an age thing. I think, you know, I think it affects, obviously, and you know, cyber bullying and what have you. It affects, uh, you know, kids and stuff. So, so I, I you know, it, it's something to bear in mind. You know, when you write a remark, a comment, or un, unsubscribe from somebody, or defriend them, or whatever, whether it be on Facebook or whatever. You know, there is a human being at the other end of that. And, you know, like in life, we want explanations. But the internet's worse than life because you can always go up to a person and go, you know, what's this all about? Why have you, done? you know, and either sort it out or say, well, you and clear off, you know. But the internet, you know, they could be in America. It could be in Japan. They could be anywhere. <laughs> oh, so anyway, anyway, moving on, moving on. So I'm smoking a new pipe, a recent edition, uh, Savinelli. Uh, yeah, um, came with the uh, in this lovely box. I got this pipe. Talking of internet friendships, that's the lovely box that come in. There we go. Savinelli, shape one two eight, I think that is. Yeah. Me, 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 I don't know. My, I don't, there we go. Is that, there we go. Sort of focus. It's a lovely smoker. I don't smoke it using the balsa wood filters. Uh, uh, to be honest with you, I'm not a fan of filtered for any anything really. Coffee. <laughs> um, uh, uh, it's a lovely. But Savinelli kindly provides you with a little bit you can stick in the large uh, recess where the filter would sit. There, those little—I think I can't remember how many millimeters are—but the balsawood little jobs you stick in there. I couldn't be bothered, uh, and I prefer the side stick. They've got a bit you can stick in there. Uh, I'm smoking in it. Ah, there we go. As you can see, it quite in. I'd ordered some one of. I ordered a pack from GQ Tobaccos. I'm smoking the old Asquith cake. Uh, I remember I got a little sample of this some years back, and I smoked it in the clay. Now, I regard myself as quite a hardened smoker, uh, hardening as much as I'm, you know, smoke a reasonable amount, and, and nicotine, you know, uh, is no, I'm not fr afraid of the nicotine. And uh, it, it knocked me off my feet, uh, to be honest with you. But I, I, I've obviously toughened up since then, and... Uh, so, you know, I'm smoking it, not ever as an all day sort of go to, but, um, I don't know, the one, one or two bowls a day I've had, maybe, not every day, but it's a lovely tobacco, um, uh, I, I would highly recommend it, as would I these Savinelli's. Beautifully made. Uh, it's a, it's darkened up a bit since uh, I bought it, but um, as as it would. But uh, yeah, lovely pipe. Uh, oh, and the most fun thing about it, of course, is is the honey dipper uh, pipe tamp, which uh, there you go. It's a little little tamping for all of you tamping enthusiasts. So I'm very much enjoying that, um, and. I'm not having much luck keeping this alight, am I? Um, too much talking. 
Um, yeah, it's it's a fantastic little smoker. I, I think that's really pipe wise about uh, all I've done really. I, I've I've eaten up all my time talking about uh, the internet. Ah, I, as promised, I'm wearing uh, this is my most recent. But it's a fur felt Christie's pork pie hat. Uh, as you can see there, Christie's of London. Uh, I, I was going to wear it one time. Anyway, anyway. So anyway, <laughs> Christie's pork pie hat, uh, Savonelli pipe. Um, oh, and uh, yes, one thing I have bought. This beauty. Now, I have for years struggled with getting a pipe lighter that would, you know, would work for more than a day. And I've spent many, many pounds uh, tracking down... Um, a decent lighter. I was on Amazon, and I, st I, I, I just window shopping. I think you'd call it in the real world. I was just sort of wandering around, thinking, looking at things like all pipe lighters uh, late at night. And I saw this in Mr. Brog, maker of of excellent sort of pipes and a uh, very uh, reasonable sort of uh, 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 price. And so I thought, oh, I'll get myself a, I'll just try it. 9 99 that was including delivery. Uh, that's pound sterling. And you get uh, you get one of those and, and, and one of those. And it's really good. Be careful with that one, though. Uh, scorching and stuff. But uh, good for like charring your cigars and, and your pipe tobacco. I've been doing a bit of that. So replacing the sort of traditional charring light with giving it a bit of a once over with the old uh, <laughs> flamethrower, as I call it, and uh, and then um, and then going to the softer uh, soft flame, you know. There we go. But yeah. Anyway, there, there you go. So, Mister Brog Lighters, if you've like me, spent years and years trying to get a decent pipe lighter, uh, I found it in Mister Brog. At a very reasonable price. I mean, for all the money I spend on matches, it only has to last uh, six months, and I'll, uh, you know, even less than six months. Some of the price of matches these days. Anyway, there we go. Uh, have a lovely weekend, won't you? Um, don't be upset by the internet and and its users. If they've upset you, uh, uh, you know, go go and hug a real friend, or in my case, I'll give Reg who you can just see his ear there. I shall give him a hug. Okay, you take care. Have a lovely weekend. Bye-bye.